again, DBC families. Welcome back. It's a new month of preschool lessons, and the theme this month is going with a lemonade stand. How many of you guys did lemonade stands when you were little, or maybe you've done one last summer? Don't know how many we'll have this summer, but it's always fun to get with your kids and have them have a chance to mix sugar and some lemonade and water and stir it up and get out there and raise a little bit of money sometimes for a different cause. When you mix the three ingredients together, is it possible to separate the lemon powder from the water once you've mixed it? Of course not. There's no way to be able to do that. And that's kind of the concept of where we're going with the lemonade. When you mix it all together, there's no way to separate that. And that's what our Bible verse is for this whole month. There's nothing at all can separate us from God's love. Um, and so we'll go over that Bible verse again here in just a little bit. But our lesson plan for this past Sunday is based on the fact that God made them. God made me. So we want all of our preschoolers to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God made them. God made them special. They are unique and beloved in his sight. And so we'll start off with the lesson plan. If you've got some painter's tape at home, and I know I've seen all of those chalk drawings, so I know that there's some painter's tape out there. So take the tape and make a big heart outline, either on your driveway, the sidewalk, or in your family room. And have your kiddos stand around the heart on the outside and jump into the heart and then talk about and say, God loves you and name your child so that they hear their name and how much God loves them. Make that a game for you to do with each other. The next activity has you taking Play-Doh, and with the Play-Doh, make animal shapes or things that God has made. The sun, um, maybe a snake that they can make with the Play-Doh. If you don't have Play-Doh at your home, no problem. Go outside, let them pour a little water in some mud or dirt and make mud. Let them have mud and make animal shapes and use rocks and leaves and sticks to create things using their imagination that God has made. After you're done with that activity, you're going to watch the Bible lesson on the Parent Q app. And when you're done watching the Bible story, then you can come and do your craft. The craft is just taking a paper plate. And you're going to cut it into the shape of a heart. And you're going to cut out to the center and you're going to make a mask. Our kids are used to seeing masks now, so let them have fun creating their own heart-shaped mask. Um, you can draw hearts on it, or if you've got some heart stickers, you can stick some heart stickers on it. The idea being that when they see this and they put their mask up, that they're going to be able to say, God loves you. Um, there's a little tag label here that you can print off from the activity pages. It says, God loves me, God made me. That's what we want our little people to know. And if you don't have anything, if you don't have, maybe you've been eating some popsicle stick, popsicles and you've got the sticks left, or you've got some pencils at home, or you've sent them outside and they've grabbed some sticks from the yard, they can use that to put on for their mask. Next is the Bible verse. And again, we've already gone over what the Bible verse is, but please, please, please work with your children in hiding God's word in their heart. So the Bible verse is nothing can, it says nothing can separate us from God's love. Nothing at all can separate us from God's love. And that's from Romans 8.39. Don't forget the address where that verse lives for them to memorize. And please, parents, video your child saying the Bible verse. Text that to me or put it on the Facebook page. And if I get to see it, then I'm going to mail your child something in the mail as a little gift. The next activity after the memory verse is something called God made. And this is an opportunity for you to use your body. So in our Bible story, we learn that God made so many things. God made the stars in the sky. He made the sun. He made the snake. He made the elephant. Ooh, I miss Tim Marcy. He used to be able to do a great um, uh, elephant trumpet. But let your child have a chance to show you something that God made and use their body to act that out. Then the last activity is what I can do is the name of it. 
So have your child do activities that show something highlighting that they can do. Maybe they can jump up and down. Maybe they can do some jumping jacks or touch their toes or pat their head and rub their tummy at the same time. The idea of them getting a chance to show something that they can do because God has made them unique and beautifully made. Um, and that's what we want our preschoolers to know is God made them. God loves them and Jesus wants to be their friend forever. So that's the lesson for this, this last Sunday. Enjoy the time that you have with your children and enjoy using the lesson plan to be able to do that and highlight that. Take care.